Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today we're making a collaboration video with my friend, a beer sugar cookie. Let's get started. So for my half, I am making some coffee cookies that are perfect to dip in some Delgona coffee, which is what she is making on her channel. So don't forget to go and check her out. So the first thing we're doing is we're taking our coffee and this is an instant coffee and I am adding in some milk. Now we're gonna stir that mixture until everything dissolves and we're gonna set it to the side. Now right here I'm making some cinnamon sugar and that's to roll the cookies in and we're just gonna set that to the side as well. So right here we have our flour, and this is just some all-purpose flour that I'm giving a good whisk. And then to that flour, I'm gonna add some baking powder, some baking soda, and some salt. After I add that, I'm just gonna give it another really good whisk, making sure that it is thoroughly combined. So now we're gonna go ahead and work on our wet ingredients. Right here, we have some butter, that I browned. Now brown butter is not necessary, but it definitely adds to the flavor. And to that butter, we're gonna add two different kinds of sugar. So right here, we have some white sugar going in, and we have some brown sugar going in right here. This is not an overly sweet cookie, guys. So in that same bowl, we're gonna add our coffee mixture we made earlier. And right here we have two eggs that I'm just giving a pre-whisk before we put it into the cookie dough. Now this is the point where I would add in some vanilla extract if I had it, but I don't. But if you do, add in one teaspoon right here. I just gave everything a really, really good mix until it came out to be this texture right here. And now we're gonna take our dry ingredients and add it in three installments to our wet ingredients. So I like to just add about one third of the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, mix it in until I don't see any more flour, and then just continue until I'm done with all of the dry ingredients. So right there at the last installment, I like to switch from the whisk to a fork. I feel like that helps me from over mixing the dough. And it doesn't get caught in the fork like it does in the whisk. So this is the texture of the cookies after they have been fully combined. I highly recommend that you chill these cookies for about one hour before you start shaping them. So now right here I just have a portion of the cookie dough. I'm gonna roll it in my hands and then roll it in this cinnamon sugar. The cinnamon sugar is optional, but it really adds something because like I said, this, this cookie does not have, it's not like an overly sweet cookie, so the sugar really helps out on the outside. So these were ready for the parchment paper and the oven, 350 degrees for about nine to 11 minutes. I went ahead and I pressed some of them and I left some of them round. Now I will say, well, first I'll say, look at those. Those are round ones, they're absolutely beautiful, but the pressed ones really need to be refrigerated for a while before you bake. As you can see, I skipped that step, so they didn't hold their pretty little shapes that I had, but that did not matter, did not stop me from eating so many of these cookies, guys. They're so good. So the texture is crisp and chewy, and the flavor is light on the coffee. It's not an overly overbearing coffee flavor, although you could bump it up if you wanted to. 
I would say these cookies gave me like ginger snap cookie vibes. They were really deep in flavor and so, so delicious, you guys, seriously. There's my coffee cookies, guys. I hope you love them. Don't forget to check out my friend in the description. And also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and come back to my kitchen anytime.